Generated Columns Part 2. In part one, I covered generated columns where you take one column and you automatically generate and derive the logic for further columns. In this video, I wanted to cover generated identity columns so that every time that you add new data, you get a new unique identifier for your record. Let me show you a basic example. I start by defining my empty table up front and this column here is going to be my identity column. I use the syntax generated always as identity. And then when I insert some data to the remaining columns, it goes ahead and adds the values in this column, increasing by one each time. But that's not all we can do. We can start getting creative. Maybe I don't want to start at one. Maybe I want all ID numbers to be at least five digits. So let's start at 10,000. But maybe for whatever reason, I want the number to go up by 10 each time. I don't know why, just pretend. And when we look at our data, we can see it's done exactly what we asked. But something else different about this was that it's generated by default, not always. If it's default, you can insert your own starting IDs and then for any nulls, it'll assign values not already in there. But if it's always, you can never bring your own IDs and they have to be generated by Databricks each time. It also means they can't be overwritten. Now, because there's a guarantee that Databricks isn't going to produce duplicate identifiers, it does mean that concurrent writes are no longer possible with these tables. So watch out for that one. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot in data and AI, follow for more.